Hey there everyone, Hatesh here back again with another video and in this video I'm gonna give you five actionable steps that you can take and you can learn Linux in a very precise and very easy manner. Now the goal of this video is not to say that Linux is awesome, it's amazing, it's virus free, it has so much caliber. No, I really don't care about that part. I actually do care. But in this video especially, I don't want you to learn Linux because of those specialities. I have a special agenda that I want you to master Linux because of very simple reasons. I just want to see when a programmer like you opens up a terminal and want to do some commands using node or maybe you open up a terminal and want to use some of the git commands and fire up a terminal for that or maybe you want to install some packages for python using pip services or chocolatey or anything else whenever you fire up a terminal you become good at it you don't just scare at that you don't get scared of it you don't just stare on these terminal you just are pretty much comfortable in that and learning Linux is going to make you much more comfortable in using these terminals and getting to know more about your system. And as a programmer, that is a very, very big advantage. Now, Linux is a big, gigantic thing. And even if you spend like over five years in learning Linux, it's going to be way less what you can actually explore in Linux. But our goal is to precisely have that amount of knowledge which is going to help us in becoming a better programmer. Now for each of this step, I want you, I just simply expect that you're going to spend at least two or three days in researching and learning more about that. So let's get started and talk about these actual five steps and five things that you have to learn about Linux. This is a step number zero and in any case, you really don't want to miss this out. I call this as a step number zero. The reason why I want you to have a backup everything because when you learn Linux, you install a ton of things in your computer and there are high chances that you're gonna just accidentally delete all the stuff which is really super important for you. So as a step number zero, just back up everything and stop being afraid. There is no chance that you're gonna mess up your computer permanently. There is very, very rare case that you're gonna damage your hardware. It's not that much scary. The max that you're gonna do is your system will just boot up and will show nothing. It can all be taken down by installing a fresh Windows or any other operating system. So for God's sake, just stop being afraid of things and start working in them. So step number zero, take backup. Your step number one is to collect information. And what I mean by collecting information, Linux, comes in a variety of flavors and variety of things. There is one side which is absolute fan about yum and other side is a big fan of apt-get. Again, there's a whole lot of variety. So what I really want you to do is learn a little bit about what are the variety of Linux available? What's the difference between an Ubuntu and a Fedora side? What's the difference between a Red Hat and a Debian or maybe a Backtrack or a Kali Linux? And all these things, I want you to gather much information about them. I'm not saying that go ahead and dig up every single stone that you can, but only thing that I'm asking here is to know more about these flavors. Try to have a look on how, they, how do they look actually which one is having a better community support, which one is being backed by actual companies. This is the whole information that you really want to gather. This is the next and little bit scary stuff which is install. Through the experience I can say that if you haven't installed at least three or four variety of Linux, you haven't even started to learn Linux. In this step, I want you to download a couple of Linux flavors, maybe Ubuntu, maybe Fedora, uh, maybe some, if you can get your hands some on Real, or if you don't have Real, there are other stripped off versions of Real. Uh, but the whole idea is to gather as much as variety of Linux that's possible and try to install them on your system. Definitely, you're going to face a lot of problems, but YouTube is totally filled up with these installation video. They can help you a lot. But again, the most important step is to install. And it's okay to be afraid a little bit on this step because you're gonna mess around a lot of things. But the whole idea is to get really into the phase where you can install any Linux and the installation doesn't scare you off whether it's Ubuntu or Fedora or any other third-party Linux. 
Not only that, I also want you to dig a little bit deeper about the installation phase because installation in Linux is not just about installing through a CD drive. Do you have even CD drive? Through the pen drives and other stuff. We do have a whole lot of installation system in Linux and that can be through network, through kickstart, through USB and a whole bunch of things. So even if you cannot perform all of them, at least read about what kind of installation we can have in Linux environment. This is the next step, which is login. It looks really simple, but in the Linux world, it's a little bit complex and gives you a lot of insight about whenever you enter a password and just log in into your system. Whenever you log in into a system, usually on the Windows and Mac, we just type our password and that's it, we are done. But you're gonna become an absolute amazing programmer if you know what kind of login feature are available. In the Linux, we have so many logins, like uh, remote logins, console login, SSH logins, a whole bunch of them, which makes you uh, more comfortable about the login system, especially they are super helpful when you deal up with the Git services. If you can get a little bit more into the detail of Linux systems and you can find out where actually the users are being created, how many types of user are, root user, what is group user, this is going to help you a lot in your programming life as well. So dig out these files where actually the Linux store all these information about users. What is group user? What is root user? This is a very essential information I think every programmer should have. Which brings us to our next step, which is file system. This is the most crucial thing for every programmer. Even if you don't want to follow the previous steps, this is something which you should never, ever, ever just skip out. Deep understanding of what file system is, is very essential. It involves all the things that how many types of user can be created in a system, what is actually a root user or administrator user, what is the group user, what is a regular user. On top of that, you really want to understand what are the file permissions as well, how you can change permissions of the file. And this permission thing remains always constant, no matter what kind of Linux flavor you are using. It always like 98 to 95%, it always remains same. Also, grab more information about the file system that whenever you plug in your hard drive, what is this mounting system, how these mountings are being done. Even if you want to go one step further, just try to figure it out how these network mount drives actually works and how does you are able to just see a folder on a Dropbox when you install it. This all information is being answered through the file system of Linux. I have seen a huge amount of students struggling because they don't know what the system is prompting them as an error because they have no idea what the root user is, what is the permission denied is, what are privileges and all these stuff. So don't be that kind of a programmer who has no idea just staring at the screen try to understand and learn more about these file system i believe that all these steps that i have shown you so far are going to take let's just say two days it is not at all even a worry thing if you spend entire week in understanding and learning more about the file system although this one is the last but i do have more things for you to share because you have stayed this much long in the video so next comes up is the server and especially the server installations Servers are nothing more than just a piece of software that you're installing, but it becomes a little bit more complex in the terms of configuration. So what I expect you to is having understanding that if you want to have your own DHCP server or maybe any other networking server or probably an Apache server, how you can install them and configure them. Even for if somebody who wants to go more into the advanced phase of Linux, I would highly recommend to just install an Apache server onto your system figure it out and configure it in such a way that you can host multiple websites in different folder. If you are able to do that, half of your problem as a web developer is gonna be just completely gone. At a very basic and initial level, servers like DHCP, DNS, and Apache are pretty, pretty much a good start for getting started. I'm not saying that go absolutely in depth of it and just figure out how each and everything works, but at least the installation and how to host a couple of files is gonna be more than enough for you. Now one hidden tip that I want to give you that for doing all of this, please try to use Vim. I know there are many other amazing editors apart from Vim, but as a Linux programmer or not just programmer, as a simple Linux user, I want you to just stay on the core of Linux and the fun actually is too much in the Vim. And I don't expect you to stay all the way on the Vim. There are many other great editors now in the market and I don't want you to expect that you're gonna be coding on the Vim. Surely you can, 
But for learning all of this Linux, it's going to be much more fun and much more challenging if you're going to just give it a try to Vim, which is a default editor in most of the Linux. Now, definitely I have skipped a whole lot of topics on to learning Linux phase. As I mentioned, Linux is a vast and gigantic world and you can easily get lost into it. I've skipped deliberately the topics of networking and a whole bunch of other things, which are also crucial and important. But the whole crafting of this video was done so that a programmer can become a better programmer by involving and using the skills of Linux. And every topic that I've mentioned in this video of the Linux installation to understanding the file system everything is going to help you somewhere in your programming career whether it's hosting of your website uh, some of the permissions involving in the apps key generating maybe using the gits at some phase this information will eventually be transferred here directly and you're going to definitely thank me later also experienced programmers who are already watching this video you definitely know what I'm talking about and how important this video is for each and every person who is right now in the first year of college, first semester, or maybe a little bit later as well. So what I request you is help these programmers. Do share this video with all of your network so that they can also learn through a precise path of Linux. So go ahead, share this video and help your fellows so that they can become amazing programmer. If you want to hit that subscribe button, you definitely can right now. But again, the most important thing for this video is spreading this world out. And instead of the subscribing, I would be really happy if you share this video onto your WhatsApp group, on your social media, so that everybody can get a precise path of learning. Right now, instead of subscribing, the most important thing is that this information goes out to each and every aspiring programmer. Aspiring? Aspiring. That was a fumble for sure. That's it for this video and just to give you a small update about my upcoming travel plans, I'm traveling to a couple of places in Europe, I'll be talking at some of these places and I'll be posting all these updates on Instagram. So in case you haven't yet joined me up on Instagram, please go ahead and join me at Hitesh0141. I'll be posting tons of stories, an amazing thing from the amazing places in Europe. So that's it for this video and I'm pretty sure we're going to catch you up in another video. I've got to try.